Hi there. Welcome to Miscellaneous Boutique, where we specialize in a hodgepodge of miscellaneous items. I'm the owner, Miscellanea. Uh, what brings you in today? Some fragrances. Okay, great. Um, for yourself or for someone else? For your partner? Okay, great. Well, we do carry a wide variety of different fragrances, um, but before I show you our selection, it'll help to maybe kind of narrow down what it is you think that they would prefer. Does that sound like something you can do? Do you have a little bit of time? Okay, great. Well, um, in order to do that, I can actually help you create a sort of personalized fragrance profile for your partner. If you are able to just answer a few questions to the best of your ability um, based on uh, different scents you think they might prefer. Does that sound good? Okay, great. Just one sec. So we have a special program just for this. Um, so before we get started, Basically, when it comes to fragrances, most perfumes and colognes are created usually using just a lot of different essential oils, and those oils all contain um, different scent notes, okay? And those scent notes all combine to sort of create the complete fragrance. Does that make sense? So I'm just going to ask you a few questions, just based on what you think they'd like, and we'll go from there. Sound good? Okay, great. Okay. So, first off, um, do you think that your partner would most prefer more masculine scents or more feminine scents, or maybe a mixture of both? mixture of both. Okay, great. Okay. And these next ones are going to maybe sound a little bit foreign, but just do your best. Okay. Um, so how about between animalic scent notes and earthy scent notes? And would they prefer fresh or fruity? Okay, good. Um, how about floral versus citrus? Okay. Good. Sweet or spicy? Okay. Smoky or It's kind of funny. Fungal or green? <laughs> yeah, that one's kind of trickier. Okay, good. And then finally, how about velvety or woody? Okay, great. All right. So Based on your answers, the program is going to create a scent profile for your partner and give me a list of recommendations based on these answers. Okay. Okay. So we've got several options here, all of which we do carry. So just hang tight and I'm going to grab all of your selections out of our display case. Okay? Alright. Okay, I'll be right with you. up with six different fragrances that matched. The first one I'm going to share with you is a personal favorite. It's called La Homme by Yves Saint Laurent. And first of all, I love the packaging. The bottle is very, very striking. I really like the look of this one. It's 
got a really nice kind of geometric shaped top with some nice metallic elements uh, with the Yves Saint Laurent emblem kind of engraved on it and um, I really like this one a lot it's a little bit more on the masculine side they call it uh, masculine fresh sweet so that's kind of the type of fragrance that it is so it does have a nice look to it certainly more on the masculine side Anything in this line by Yves Saint Laurent is great, but this one is really a personal favorite because it does have a little more of that sweet uh, fragrance profile to it. And I'll sort of break down um, all the different fragrances based on all their different notes, and I'll explain that a bit to you as well. But let's go ahead and give this one a try. I do have some sample sheets available so you can give them a smell. Okay. This one's great. Here, give that a try. Yeah. So all fragrances do have a top, middle, and base note. And I'll explain that to you shortly, but with this particular fragrance, the top notes, or the first thing you're going to smell, is kind of a green, woody fragrance. I'm sure you can pick up on that. Yeah. And then the middle notes are what's known as aromatic and spicy, warm spicy. base note, which again I'll explain to you shortly, is kind of a fresh, spicy, citrus aroma, which is really, really nice. Okay, we'll keep that one in mind. So, um, before we move on to the next fragrance, can I offer you sort of a palette cleanser. Okay. So I'm sure you've seen this uh, other places when you've been fragrant shopping. It's thought that the smell of coffee is kind of a sort of an olfactory palette cleanser for when you're, you know, trying out different fragrances when you're shopping. a little bit of research <laughs> on that particular idea and there's conflicting evidence scientifically that the smell of coffee really does actually reset your sense of smell but either way it's something that we offer and who doesn't love the smell of coffee? of resetting, I'll tell you some good information to know when it comes to fragrances. Um, it is important to remember that all fragrances um, contain different notes, so the top, middle, and base notes, usually, and those are designed to sort of dissipate at different times, sort of during the life of the fragrance. So, the top notes of any fragrance um, generally contain the most volatile molecules, meaning they will sort of evaporate, dissipate the quickest. Um, 
giving way, usually within a couple of minutes, um, giving way to the middle notes, which is known as the heart of the fragrance. Um, and that fragrance, or that scent, usually lasts about an hour or so. And then finally, those middle notes give way to to the base notes of the fragrance, which are known as the body of the fragrance, which will last for many hours. So that's kind of what you'll smell sort of through the middle and end of the day, and even into the next day. And that's known as the dry down phase of a fragrance. really important to note that as I'm sampling these for you and you smell them on the sample pages that they are going to smell a little bit different on everybody just because all humans just have different body chemistry and so our natural oils will mix with the fragrances and just smell a little bit different There is no perfect fragrance, if that makes sense. Everything's going to smell a little bit different on everyone, and so it can be a challenge to find that perfect fragrance that's right for you. But um, as you try different things, you'll kind of get a sense of what works best on you. Let's move on to our next fragrance. Um, this is another personal favorite. Okay. So next, we have another personal favorite. This is Bulgari Black. Um, it's a really sort of neutral, sweet, smoky, unisex fragrance. I like this one a lot, and again, I love the bottle. It's kind of a unique look. Some of those metallic elements, again. Um, but also some really cool sort of sort of engraved within the bottle. I really like the look and fragrance of this one as well. Just a lot of nice little details. So let's give this one a try. This is a great one for men or women. Um, to me, I mean everyone's different, but to me it's more of kind of a nighttime, sultry fragrance. Which I like a lot. I'll let you get that a try. It's nice, right? Yeah, so um, those top notes that I was describing to you, that first initial smell this one, it's kind of green and powdery. And in the middle notes, after a little while, you'll start smelling sort of that sweet, um, kind of white floral aroma. And then finally, the base notes, which to me are the most important, because it's what you'll kind of smell all day long, and 
that's sort of the essence of the fragrance in this one are great. Um, there's a little bit of a leathery kind of scent mixed with vanilla, which is amazing. And that's kind of what adds to the sort of unisex nature of it. Leather we tend to think of as a more masculine scent and vanilla is a little bit more feminine. of appeals to everybody. Yeah, I love this one. What do you think? So you kind of like this one for you? Okay, great. Well, would you like to sample it out? I can spritz a little bit of it on your neck area if you like. Real quick, before I do that, we have a little trick here that we do um, that kind of extends the life of a fragrance. Basically, if you apply um, an oil-based, odorless moisturizer to the area that you're going to spray your fragrance, it will sort of moisturize the area, which will help the fragrance to last longer. Um, basically what happens is if your skin is very dry, the fragrance will absorb into your skin more quickly and you'll sort of lose um, the life extension, if you will, of the fragrance. It'll last longer um, if your skin is more moisturized because the fragrance will absorb into the moisturizer rather than your skin. So it'll just live a little bit longer on your skin, if that makes sense. Yeah, just a little trick. Um, so if you don't mind, I can actually apply a little bit of moisturizer to your neck area before I spray. Okay, great. Yeah, I always keep it here on hand. Okay, perfect. So, um, if you'll just turn your head for me. Great. You don't mind if I just come in close and apply. Okay, good. Okay, does that feel okay? wear it all day and really experience the entire uh, fragrance profile. Okay, does that feel all right? Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, just a neat little spritz here and a spritz here. Okay, so turn your head for me again. Great, thank you. Good. And turn. Good. Great. So we'll let that settle for just a minute. Good. Do you mind? really works on you. Yeah, it really does. I like that one a lot. Awesome. Okay, so we'll keep that aside for consideration, and we can move on to our next fragrance now if you like. Okay, great. And again, we can reset.
Mademoiselle by Chanel. Um, very kind of classically feminine, pretty bottle. Just pretty basic. more on the feminine side. Um, so those top notes are rose and balsamic, which is mostly what you're smelling now. And then the middle notes are more animalic and woody, which I like a lot. And then the base notes are citrus and patchouli, which you wouldn't think of necessarily, but they combine really smell of coffee beans doesn't reset your nose per se. Really just being distracted helps to, I don't know, kind of get your brain ready to smell something new. So you can really compare and contrast. That's what I think. and vanilla, which I can really pick up. And then after a while it fades to just kind of really simple, sweet middle note. And the base notes are white floral and citrus. So it's got a really diverse Yeah, I can 
really pick up the honey and vanilla right now. Yeah, another very feminine fragrance. But I've got a few more that we can try out. Let's clear those senses. <laughs> personal favorite. It's what I wear. It's kind of my daily perfume. It's a really nice daytime fragrance. Okay, let me grab that one for you. This one is called Miss Dior by Christian Dior. And like I said, this is my personal favorite. Doesn't mean it has to be yours, but um, this one just works great with me for some reason. Um, it's a very sort of feminine, fresh, sweet fragrance, um, which makes it great for daytime wear, like I said. And the bottle is gorgeous. Love about this one. It's just so cute and sort of petite, very feminine. Um, a lot of great little details like the little pattern in the crystal here at the bottom. And I especially love the little metallic bow right here on the on the lid. kind of curly font that they use on the label. I just love everything about it visually. It's so cute. So we'll give this one a try. Okay. It's a sample. There's not much left in here, but we can get some. The reason I love this one the most for me is I really love those bass notes, just how it kind of uh, dries down, as they say, kind of how it smells later on. But for its top notes, as you can tell, it's very floral and earthy, and the middle notes are what we call aromatic, and then those bass notes that I like so much are green a really fresh, dry down sort of base fragrance, but also just a little bit musky, like wood. Yeah, it's actually what I'm wearing today. Yeah, I've had it on since this morning, so it's kind of starting to enter its dry down phase now. Okay. Reset. <laughs> Ready for our last fragrance. Okay. Okay. Finally, we have um, 
I'm Sarah Garlon. Um, this one is a very, very floral fragrance. Um, pretty feminine. Highly floral, as you'll see. <laughs> uh, I like the shape of the bottle, I believe. This one might be a little bit older. It might have been in circulation for some years. Um, so the bottle is pretty standard. Nothing terribly remarkable about it, but the red kind of bulb on top is sort of striking. But yeah, visually it's This is our last fragrance. Very floral. Okay. Alright, I'll let you try this one. So this one's really interesting. middle and base notes don't contain quite as much variation as the other uh, five fragrances that I presented to you. So you can really smell that very heavily floral scent, right? Yeah. Pretty much stays that way. It doesn't change much throughout the life of its um, fragrance. So, um, those top notes, this one's interesting. They call it floral with a little bit of balsamic. middle notes give way to something that's called yellow floral. And then finally it's base notes just go back to that floral balsamic scent. So, like I said, it doesn't vary much throughout its life, but it's still pleasant. that came up um, for your partner's uh, fragrance profile, but was there anything else that caught your eye that you'd like to see? Okay. You feel like you've made your decision then? Excellent. Yeah, that's a great one. That's one of my favorites, like I said. Cool. Oh, and the Bulgari Black for you. Great. Okay. We well, found something for you and your partner. I will put those aside. Um, if you have any more shopping that you'd like to do, I can certainly hold these up here at the register for you, so you don't have to worry about lugging them around the store. Sound good? Okay, great. Well, I'll get these bagged up for you and just come up to the register whenever you're ready, and I'll be here to help you with anything that you need. Okay. Okay, great. Well, enjoy the rest of your shopping trip, and I'll see you soon. the difference. They started looking a lot better, but then, um, unfortunately, I just didn't think that look was working for me, so I decided to make an adjustment, and I actually did a little DIY, and now I have a super cute new pair of flats that I can wear with just about everything. 